Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, Put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Short sleeves, wow! Beautiful day today, taking full advantage of that to do some outdoor work. So I'm in the back garden where we've had the swimming pool installed. We still need to do something around the pool to make it nice and pretty. Um, but one job I want to do before we get on and do anything around the pool is to get the hens penned in a bit better because they've had free reign of this garden. Um, they've pecked it completely down, which is great. Um, apart from the banana plants, let me show you them. So I've, I've I've made a new enclosure to keep the hens out of this particular area and anyone else because look look at the sorry state of our three banana plants. Mother-in-law says that they'll start shooting up and not to worry, but uh, well we'll see. Anyway, we'll uh, put that around just to keep the hens off till I have finished building their pen, which. Is going over in the corner so you've got their doorway into their little huts there they've got a shelter here so i'm just building a, a fence i did have a fence along here but you know what the hens are pretty good at flying over it jump climbing under it and whatnot so making this a bit more substantial Uh, temporary hen pen mark two um, had a slight escape plot two of them were trying to get out so I just had to put some more fencing along there um, but they seem happy enough hard to tell with hens anyway I'm pleased but it was finished. It was finished? It was finished. Why are you going back on it's not finished? Well, because two of the four birds <laughs> have now managed to, to get on top of it. Oh, yeah. Hello. Go on, Flora, put them back in. Go on, Flora, put your hands back in. Do you feel like it's job done? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. I just packed up all the tools. <laughs> well, out in the back garden area again, and I've just modified slightly the hen pen 
uh, increased the height of the wire by about 30 centimeters, about a foot, and uh, hopefully they won't get out. If they do this time, wing snip. Hello and happy Monday morning from the wall. Well, it's not going to do itself, so time I cracked on. I'm kind of... Mm, I've done that portion there. Just keep swimming. Every now and then we need to stop the cuddles, don't we? <sighs> so I've had a really good afternoon of just cracking on with this wall. And yeah, I feel like I'm achieving. I am getting somewhere. Um, I'm going to stop today because my body's just kind of going. I tell you, I tell you a joke about like a 28 foot wall, but you'd never get over it. What a lovely day to be outside and working. So today I am going to have a go at getting some of the work done to the outside of the jeet. Um, I've taken down the light, so we've just got wires pointing out of the wall there. Um, I've laid down some sheeting, so if any anything falls off the wall which i hope it does it's got somewhere to land i can clear it up neatly um so what i'm going to be doing today uh, you'll see in a few parts like here the render is coming off the wall i think it's a concrete render um it's not coming off everywhere so here for example that is firmly attached I'm not sure whether that's going to come off. Um, I'm going to have a little play around here to see what will come off and then um, stuff that doesn't obviously won't come off and I will um, start to prepare the surface ready for um, me to come along and render it. Um, another of the jobs that I want to do before then is, is get... Get the sticky label stuff off. You know, the thought of spending hours doing that. What a waste of time. Why didn't I take them off before installation? Might have been easier. Anyway. Enough of my sticker woes. Need to get on and get this finished, really. There is a special tool for removing all of this render. If you can hear it, that's because it's in use at the moment. It's Claire and her wall. So, I'm here with manual tools today. Not a problem.
I think I've done enough for today. I am knackered. It's not finished, as you can see, but a lot has come off. In fact, that shows you a lot has come off. All that rubbish down the bottom there. Anyway, pleased with what I've done, but I'm knackered. I'm back out at the wall this wonderful Tuesday and I got quite far along yesterday. I got to where this kind of like line of ivy is here. However, I'm going to just do a bit of a different tactic on this today. Um, I'm getting up to a point where there's loads of moss, there's loads of ivy and things. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to power wash the whole of this wall and I'm going to see whether I can get rid of all of the rubbish but also whether I can lighten it up. And then I'll come back again and I'll go for the rest of the wall, getting rid of the mortar. Also, I've been a good wife today and I've let him have the compressor. <laughs> so, here goes. I see a lot of water in my future. Wow, I am absolutely covered in crud. Um, I've just stopped for a minute because I've kind of got to, kind of got to like somewhere around here and it's coming up, it's coming up really well. The reason why I'm covered in crud is the backsplash. Um, the power washer is good. It's not really like an industrial power washer. It's the kind of thing that you'd wash your wife's Fiat 500 with before going out for a Sunday drive. So to try and get it more powerful, the closer you stand, the more moss it peels off the wall. And therefore it's all over me <laughs> and my hair and my dog. <laughs> Did I have to stop for a cuddle? It's definitely worth it though. I think where it's, where it's a bit damp, you can't really tell, but it's really taken the moss off. Um, I'm gonna, when I come back tomorrow with my um, <laughs> I'm going to bring a scraper and scrape off a load of the ivy because it's just glued to the wall um, and I'm going to bring back a set of secateurs because there's loads of um, brambles coming through the wall <sighs> got concrete in the mouth <laughs> finished now, ready for a shower definitely uh, what is that? Mmm, yummy. Hey, Mello. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Right, well, back at the Jeet. How many times have I said that now? Anyway. Sorry, <clears throat> the work tool that will help me progress the work here quickly. So I'm gonna, yeah, carry on getting this old render off.
end of another day um, and I've made quite a lot of progress now on that bit of wall um, some bits just fall off and other bits don't really want to but uh, anyway I'm making progress and I'll crack on tomorrow Been a bit delayed coming out today. Uh, we've had some rain this morning, and I didn't fancy working in it to be qu quite honest with you. So, um, anyway, I'm out now. I'm going to have a go getting rid of the remaining patches at this part of the wall, get rid of that concrete along there, and see how far I go that way. Um, so, yeah. Right then, the render has come off all the way along here, all the way along here, up until that point. Hmm. Now, at some point in this building's history, it was extended, and rather than extending it with a Charente stone, they built the rest of it with concrete blocks, which is fine. What it's meant is when they've put the render, the, the scratch coat, the first coat of render onto the building, it's bonded extremely well along here and it's not going to come off. But that's okay because when I come to render down the side of this building, I'll be able to just go all the way along and then go across here and hopefully, hopefully it will all look like it was all done at the same time. So anyway, I've chipped off all the render now and uh, just got to clear up the mess. Well, whilst the building is ready to be rendered, I've just checked the weather forecast and it's not looking great. We are due a couple of nights of frost and uh, I don't want any new render to get frost damage and pop off. So everything will have to go on hold for a little bit till the weather in. Flora, did you need to take your omelette to bed? Nice omelette. Nice omelette, Flora. Oh, omelettes. Just in the kitchen, unloading the dishwasher like you do, and I heard a bang. And this little guy has just flown into the patio windows behind me, and you've just knocked yourself out a bit, haven't you? I'm gonna pop him somewhere safe so that uh, that Madam cannot try and eat him. It's pretty cute though. Do you hit that window a little bit too hard, mate? It's all right. I'll go away in a minute. Looking a lot calmer now. Good afternoon. I am back again at the wall. Today, I have with me this handy scraper to try and get the ivory off. And I'm going to get the ivory off as I go along the wall. I've had a couple of days off of doing this because it's been really rainy, really cold, not very nice. I was hoping to get the pointing done this week as well, but the other problem that we now face is that we've got a couple of minus temperature nights coming up this weekend. And yeah, apparently you're not meant to do it then. It's like a gremlin. It's like the gremlin of walls. You must not get it wet. You must not feed it after midnight. You must do this with it and that with it. It's, it's a really high maintenance wall.
Well, we managed to get a bit more of the wall done, but unfortunately it started raining again. And it's not very nice out there when it's raining and it's also getting really muddy out there. It's six degrees, it's cold, it's miserable. We're gonna call it a day, aren't we? Should we do some housework? You love housework, don't you? Would you like a treat? Uh. Would you like a treat? Uh. You'd definitely like uh. a treat, wouldn't you? Are you a good boy? Uh. You a good boy? Uh. You a good girl? Uh. Sit. Good boy. Here we go. Just don't tell your father. He doesn't like you having them. Oh, princess, you can have yours in bed because we know how you like eating in bed. Who doesn't like a snack in bed? Are you happy? Here we go. All for you, Floor. All for you. He has one too. Welcome to day 3128 of working on the wall. Donald Trump is not involved in this wall, nor will he ever will be. Um, <laughs> I had to stop due to rain yesterday. I'm hoping to get as much as possible done today. I am trying. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a really horrible area to work in when it's cold and it's wet. But let's go. I have from the stool to the corner to go. And yeah, I'll just stop chatting and get on with it. off time for a moment I am very pleased to announce I have finished the wall managed to get a little bit more of the cement off of this end which I'm really happy about the majority of it is still not moving though however I am done I have done oh wobbly I have done this entire wall and it is ready for repointing really really pleased with what I've done it's such a it's um I measured it earlier or I got Nick to measure it and the wall the wall is 15 meters long or about 15 meters long just a little bit over which is 49 feet long um yeah so it's, it's a long old wall um, and the other final thing that I can really tell you is that I've not really explained there's a really long pipe that leads along the wall that goes into a soak away in the corner over there, that horrible corner. I'll take a picture. Ah. And the pipe is from all of the gutterings in the yard. That's a good repair there. Yeah. So it takes the water away from there and takes it into that soak away. Now I'd really like to get a smaller pipe like what our neighbour has up there, but we'll have to wait and see. However, in the meantime, it's done. Yay! Uh, I'm going to go get warm. My hands are starting to go blue. I'm really, really cold. <laughs> but yay! Finished wall. Waiting to be repointed. Yes.
welcome to Wine of the Week and another wine this week. This week we have a brewery. And I bought this back in July 21 for ooh, 8 euros. No, <laughs> more than 8. 18. 18. 18. Can you not read the numbers? I thought well that's a no, that's not a number, that's an arrow. Up. No, that's, that's 18 in Claire, Claire writing. Oh, with the pictures. <laughs> well, it's Sunday. Your tree, you're in for a treat, <laughs> so are we. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very generous. I know, I was probably saving this for when your father was here. <laughs> so, uh, been another busy week outside. Um, Unfortunately, the weather's turned cold again. It looks lovely and sunny out there, but it is freezing. So <laughs> that means that we're not going to, as we've explained, be able to continue the line rendering, the line pointing just yet. No. But uh, plenty of other things to be occupying us, I'm sure. It's been a while since you've been to the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, if you've enjoyed this week's episode, please do click the like button. And if you've not already, please consider subscribing. You can also find out what we, we've been up to on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, or on our website at <laughs> www.theexpatbutchers.com. <laughs> It's always, it's always a fight over who's going to say that one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Yay! Well, we, with it being an 18 euro bottle, we probably should have left this to breathe, but no, let's just <clears throat> go in with the uh, going for it. <laughs> it's been holding its breath in there for years. So. <laughs> Since July 21. <laughs> Well, actually, the wine went in in 18, in 2018. Yeah. So. Mm, lovely. Very nice, nice colour. Yeah. And all that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Well. Ooh. That's lovely. It's quite cold, though, because it's just come up from the cellar. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. <laughs>